guys, John Ham here from Fitness on the Run, and tonight I'm here with Terry Wyman, Dr. Terry Wyman from the Chiropractic Sports Institute. And we're actually at his house with his son Tyler, who is a awesome motocross rider at 10 years old, right Tyler? Yeah. Awesome. And Terry and Tyler have found a new way to train for motocross, which is Tyler riding the indoor board while playing motocross video games. Right, Tyler? Mm -hmm. And what game is this? MX vs. ATV Say it one more time, real loud. MX vs. ATV Okay, what, what console is this? PlayStation 3? PlayStation 3, yes. Okay, cool. So, Tyler is balancing on the end of board while playing whatever the game is. Reflex. Reflex. <laughs> <laughs> I'm not a gamer. <laughs> Um, but Terry's going to tell us a little bit about the science behind this because it really does make sense. If you're uh, an athlete of any type, to train your balance while training your brain. So Terry, go ahead. Tell us a little bit about this. Well, Tyler's getting ready for uh, uh, national championships. He's one of three 10-year-olds, and he's actually 11, but it's the age of our January 1st, to make it to the Grand Nationals in Tennessee. And they only take a nine from the whole West Coast. And, uh, the whole western region, which is basically Mississippi West, and only nine made it. And he's wow. one of those, and he's only he's a year junior. But uh, we leave in two weeks, and I, after working out that day, he was sitting on the um, couch and playing video games. And like any parent, I kind of thought that was a waste of time because he's playing video games, just sitting there turning the mush. And so we decided to take to put him on the indoor board. But the real thought was he at a race last week, he, or a couple weeks ago, he kept making the same mistake. And he'd come into a turn, drop his leg, and crash, drop his leg, and crash. And I finally said, are you thinking about what you're doing? He said, no, I'm just in race mode. And his body is trained, I mean, he trains four to five days a week. And so his body is just goes into that mode at the gate, and it just goes. So, like most athletes, they go into autonomic function, where they just They've trained so much, they just do what they were doing. You were a gymnast, and you, you know when you, when, the, when you go up on the rings, you do your routine, and you don't think about every little thing. You just right. go into the motion. And I'm like, how do I train the brain to stay focused and to feel think while the body is in that autonomic, uncertain motions? Proprioceptive motions, ever-changing, and motocross is ever-changing. And the one thing I love about motocross, it's the only sport that's pure ambidextrous. So, the right hand is doing something different than the left hand, the right foot's doing something different than the left, and the whole time you're balancing the machine is constantly changing. And I'm like, how do I reproduce that when we're not in a track, driving two hours to get to a track? And so the way I, re I thought about reproducing is putting them on a board, you're putting them on something that is constantly changing. You have the Gante cushion, you have the roller, and now we can get constant changing and we add an element of mental concentration to the game. He can play a game on the couch all day long. He can stand this in the board without even moving. Perfect balance all day long. You put the two together, <laughs> and he was all over the place. And I found that very fascinating to know that he couldn't balance more than five seconds while playing the game. And I thought that was really intriguing. The now, more I looked into the science, it made sense. It made sense. Now, you kind of did an experiment when you made, you asked Tony Hawk to do the same thing? No, I, don't, I didn't oh, ask Tony. Okay. It just got spread through. I, get, I had a, a pro skater in my office. Oh, okay. And the pro skater, I was telling him about, he's very good at the indoor board and he likes to play video games. And he actually used um, Call of Duty. And that's oh. one of his favorite games. <laughs> so he called me up, he went home to play Call of Duty. He goes, I couldn't play the game. He goes, I'm trying to balance and my body's trying to think about balancing and also I'm trying to focus on getting shot when I've never been <laughs> shot before and all of a sudden it totally changed this game for him. And he started talking and from what I'm hearing, um, whether it's true or not, uh, even Tony Hawk kind of went, oh, this is kind of interesting when he was in Berlin. So. Well, Tony, if you're out there, check it out. I want to see you do it on camera. That'd be awesome. It would be awesome. That would be really cool. Yeah. Uh, so this isn't just for athletes too. This can be for you on the couch or you watching YouTube or you just surfing online. If you're a gamer, this is a great way to get some physical activity into your normal lifestyle, right? T Tyler, is this a little harder than just um, on the video anyway? Way harder. And way harder. <laughs> the other thing I've noticed is it helps your concentration. It, uh, for those of you that may be a little ADD or a little have a hard time focusing, now you're focusing while you're training the body. So it's that whole mind-body connection. There's nothing out there. We and all the other balanced games 
when you're balancing on Wii, you're focusing on balancing because it operates the game. This, you're focusing on the gamepad in your hand. So it's a totally different while your feet are brain while your feet are balancing, your body's going your through something balancing. different. So it's a totally different, totally different response. Right. Well, that's really cool. And one of the things that we talked about earlier was how uh, it's great to not, not just do the same thing over and over again in your workouts. So adding balance training into your normal day-to-day -day function in your exercise routine, it's a great way to not only just get in great shape, but also to prevent injury. And that's because your body has to work to balance it and coordinate movements, right? Absolutely. Um, that's what you, especially the older folk. I mean, you've got people that break that's their right. hips all because of balance. Well, now they can play any type of game. They can be on the balance board. And it makes the balance board even more fun. I know, he, like, he's even more precarious. <laughs> and, like, he's still balancing this little, little piece. Yeah, he's, um, he's scaring me right now. <laughs> <laughs> but it makes, it makes the, uh, it makes a lot of things a little more interesting. I mean, open chain exercises are so important, just like closed chains are. But balance is in every sport. It's yep. in every walk of life. It's how you can see people walking down the street and they're all bent forward and, and just sometimes just again, staying up straight is more balanced. And if they can't master the, I mean, this is more advanced, the, the, right. the, the tube. This is, on, no, this is no Wii balance board, that's for sure. Well, heck no. <laughs> but you can put them on the, the Agante, the bigger cushion. The, yeah. And now and you'll put very little air in it when they start just to get that little proprioceptive feel. And then you can add more air, more air. And then you can switch off. The thing I like about, if you have a sport that there's a lot of ankle injuries, a lot of knee injuries, I would use the cushion. Because now they have to have perfect balance. But now you take the now you take the body out of it. If you're focused on on balancing, and it's all you focus on. It's going to be a different neurological pathway than if you take the brain out of it and put it into an autonomic state. So get them used to the board first, but then throw a game in their hand and see what happens. Yeah, that's really awesome. Well, thank you guys for um, for your uh, your time tonight and sharing with us what yeah. you're doing. This is really really cool. So all you gamers out there, go get Nintendo board and switch it up. Right, yep. <laughs>